Hi everybody, with update 1.14 in Daisy, we've got the FAMAS bulb up uh, automatic or burst or semi automatic rifle. Um, and we've also got the amazing Starlight scope as well, which is a pretty impressive night vision scope that, f that fits um, NATO rifles with a rail, like the M4 and I guess the. Um, the Scout and uh, rifle and the La as well. Though I haven't tested that yet. Now they call these two items in the patch note the Lamas and the NVPS PVS4. But don't worry, in the files they're called the Famas and the Starlight Scope. So I'm going to show you how to add more to your community server. Remember, this works for PlayStation, works for Xbox, works for PC as well. It's all the same. So I'm going to kind of assume that you know how to uh, download and edit a types.xml. If you're not sure, if you're just starting off, do a quick YouTube search for how to increase loot on a DAISY server, beginner's guide to loot, that sort of stuff, and get yourself familiarized with that. But here, as you can see, this is the types.xml for the 1.14 files. Now, I am working with the experimental files here. I am doing this before the um, release of the public files but the idea will be the same so if we do a su quick search and just search for famas f-a-m-a-s that will take you straight to the assault rifle here it is now we can look we can see straight away that the famas there's only ever five of them that spawn on the whole map which isn't very many um, and they're counted in the map as you'd expect them to be counted on player is one now these are dynamic event loot which means you will find them at helicopter crash sites. But if we don't want that, if we want them to spawn normally around the map, um, you can change that to zero, like so. And we can also change the zero count in player. So let's change that to zero. So now they will spawn around the map in military, um, any military locations. Um, I tell you what we'd probably do, like this optic that's underneath, let's give it a Let's put it in a tier value. So let's copy that over there. And let's give it a tier value. Okay, so let's add another tier value as well. Okay, so that's good. There we go, there we go. Let's line these up. Ooh. Okay, so what we've done there is we copied copy the tier values from the uh, FNP45 optic down below and then we've also copied tier 3 so what the tiers do tier 4 is northwest of Chernus deep south on Livonia tier 3 is a little bit towards the middle of the map and tier 2 is kind of just in from the coast roughly so what we said is we've said the FAMAS should now spawn in normally on the map um, in military locations in tier 4, tier 3 and tier 2 now there's not enough of them so we want to change it to say 15 of them with a minimum of 10. So that means there should be 15. When it gets down to 10, the game will start spawning them in again. Quant min minus one, quant max minus one. Ignore those, they don't mean anything. Cost 100 is fine. So that's good. So now we've got more of them spawning in because uh, although it's an interesting weapon, the FAMAS, being a bulb up, bulb up, um, it doesn't have a, re you can't add optics to it. So I think it's not, it's not overpowered um, I don't think. I suppose the fact this burst powered, but it's not as useful for me to, as to me as something like uh, a, an AK or an M4 that you can put a scope on. You know, I would class the FAMAS in the same way that I would class something like the M16. Real fun assault rifle to have and to zap zombies with and to get into fairly close quarters combat with people. But again, because it's iron sights, you don't want something too far away. So we've added more FAMASs, and that would be nothing if we didn't add more magazines. So search for FAMAS again, and there we have the MAG FAMAS 25 round. Um, now these spawn anywhere in the map on military locations in Tier 4 and Tier 3. So what we're going to do, let's copy that, and let's add another tier to it. So it spawns in Tier 2 locations as well. Yes, that's where the FAMASs are going to spawn. Um, let's add more of them. So let's add, let's have 15 of them spawning in, spawning in with a minimum of 10. We can see here that they're only counted in the map anyway, so that's cool. Now the quant min, the quant max does matter because this is the number of bullets that will spawn in in the uh, magazine. 
and this is a percentage so we're going for quant minimum 99 percent quant maximum 100 percent so when you pick up one of these magazines basically it will be full of bullets so that's uh that's pretty cool isn't it now the other thing we mentioned was the starlight scope wasn't it so let's do a search for starlight there it is starlight optic so let's have a look so this is found in the map um, on shelves in the contaminated area so you're only going to find this if you go to on generous again the uh, the ship in the northeast on the coast you, you'll want to go there and this this will be there which is uh, maybe where it should stay because it's very good but no you're running us you're running a custom server you want people to be able to play around with these things don't you so what we will do let's go back to the famas And what we're going to do, let's copy where you would find the FAMAS as well. So let's do it military in those tier locations. So let's copy them. Let's search for the starlight again. And let's keep it there. So we can say in the contaminated area. So you will find them in a contaminated area, but let's add them to military areas as well. Maybe not tier two and tier three. So let's get rid of tier two and tier three. Let's keep it tier four locations. Let's add a few more in. So let's add five to the server with a minimum of four. There we go. So we've added more starlight optics um, and we've moved them so that they, yes, they're still in the contaminated area and still in um, the military but they're also in the military areas in tier four so up into the northwest of the map so they're a bit of a challenge to find now as a bonus why don't we look at how you can get the famas to spawn in with its magazine already attached so you want to open up the cfg spawnable types xml and you want to search for the famas and as you can see the attachment chance for the magazine is 0.75 so it's got a three quarter percentage so let's change that to 1.00 so that will now spawn in with a magazine and I tell now I'm, I don't know if I haven't tested this but let's see if the star oh no let's go back to the top control F starlight no okay there we go. We won't worry about doing that then. So there we go. That, my friends, is how we add more Famasasas, more Famasasas mags, and more Starlight scopes to your Daisy custom server, private server for PC, Daisy, PC, PlayStation, <laughs> or Xbox. Hopefully that has been useful. If it has been, hit the like button. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. Put your questions and comments down below, and I'll see you again soon.